So it was back to the drawing board and I disassembled the entire telescope again. I took the newly assembled gearbox out as I figured it's probably there that I made a mistake. And I tried to run it outside the telescope and it was running fine, honestly, in both directions. I decided to just manually turn the gear that would turn the base and I could see that the base would turn smoothly in both directions with no clunking noises or anything like that as we heard in the test before. So I reassembled the telescope for the god knows how many times just to get a better look at what was actually going on and now nothing was replying and i was afraid now i just broken the thing completely and eventually it turned out it was just one of the headers that wasn't seated properly and after that was seated the whole thing was moving around again Does that mean there could only be one thing wrong the interface between the gearbox and the gear on the base was not aligning up correctly upon further inspection i could actually see the elongated gear here was slightly crooked Crooked. So I went back into my 3D modeling software and I moved the hole about a millimeter, reprinted, reassembled. <laughs> and we are back in business. 